again to Fusion 360, the tutorial series. Now we're going to move on to circles. As you can see, go to your drop down, go down to our circle. Now the first one listed is a center diameter circle and the hot key for this particular one is a C. So if you hit the C key, it would automatically pick up this one. So what we're gonna do is click on this, come down to our origin, we're going to click. Now wherever you click, whenever you move your mouse out, the diameter of the whole circle, the whole area all the way around is going to move to whatever diameter you specify. You can specify exactly how many millimeters you want something to be, say we 75 millimeters, hit enter. You now have a circle that is uh, constrained and um, all that good stuff. So moving on to our other circle, which is a two point circle. These are pretty useful for some things you'd be sketching. We'll go down to our origin point and this one, as you can already tell, doesn't go from the center out. It goes from, uh, in this case, the bottom up. Or if you were to go down, it would be from the top down, or however orientation you have it in. These are pretty useful in some things if you want it to be up against something and want to go out. So that's how that circle works. Obviously, you have to constrain this one because it's blue. Once again, we'll go over that later. Uh, our other circle is a three-point circle, so you can specify here and here, and you can place your final point wherever you'd like. So now you have a circle using a different method. Once again, we'll go to our other circle. This is a two-tangent circle, so we'll give you an example of this. We'll go down and we'll create a line from our origin, we'll place it here, and we'll also create another line this way. So tangents are pretty neat. It's in a way to, usually you use circles for these. You have a line that is connected to a circle, whichever way you want it to go. This will kind of give you an idea. So we're gonna click that circle, and we're gonna click this line here, and this line, and as you can see, it maintains contact with both lines. As you can see, you can resize it to whatever you want. It's going to always be connected to these lines or you can go past the lines, but it stays on the same, same path on both edges of the circle, if circles had edges. But as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty neat and handy little tool to remember. I typically forget about this one. Uh, another one you can do is a three tangent circle. I believe I've already seen. So we'll make another line here. We'll go to our circle and we'll do a three tangent circle. So it'll be just like the other one, except with one more point. As you can see, you will now make contact with all three and it will size it accordingly to all three points. I believe that wraps up our circle 2D work area uh, for the circle. So I believe the next one we'll be working on our arcs, how to work with them. So uh, stay tuned for the next video on that. Hopefully these videos are helpful. Um, trying to go through each one in specific. So if there's a, a certain thing that you need to go back on, it's easy to just go back on that one topic. So uh, hopefully these are helpful and uh, Hopefully I see you in our next video.